Look at all that poop. Everybody, good afternoon. Welcome back. Butterflies for Garden, Jason Sebastian, showing you guys how to clean caterpillar poop. So let me set you down and get a good view. One second window. All right, that's good enough. So yeah, this is how I clean out the caterpillar poop. I've got a brush and a container. So I just pick up an entire, well, let's move this first. Paper towel full of poop. And then I take the entire tray of caterpillars. Come on, my stuck. Gotta be careful not to squish anybody. It's rolling, oh my God. Struggle. All right, so I'm gonna have to fix this so that it's not round, but anyways, putting the caterpillars down, brushing off the tray, putting the other caterpillars down. I've got this entire paper towel filled with poop. I'm just gonna take the whole thing out without spilling. And then there's some more on the sides. This one's not too bad. So I'm just gonna dump off some of the poop and put it back. This one is also not too bad. So I'm going to dump the poop and put it back. Ooh, okay. Make sure it's all nice. And then I've got my roll of paper towels. Rip off some nice fresh one. Put it in. And then I've got it kind of like up on the edges of the little tower. Um, you can see the chrysalis are all doing really well up top. These guys are eating, 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 eating. These guys, they don't even try to run away. They just want to hang out on the food. So, oh my God. Putting, putting you guys back. Focus. Now I'm going to put the tray back in with the caterpillars. There's some poop on the food. I didn't get all of it. Remember to brush off the food first, but if you're lucky, there won't be any poop on the food. But anyways, putting the tray back in. Ooh, make sure the paper towel's all the way to the back. Now I'm gonna take my caterpillar on a fork. Lol, that's why I like the forks. Because now I can just move the food really easily without touching the caterpillars. Come on. So now I'm just gonna put this far in the back. And then that's it. I've got um, a little triangle shape like this, and then I just stick that. That's the last thing that I do. Stick it in as far as it'll go. So now we've got a fresh cage, no, fresh netting with no poop. And then as you can see, all of this, this is one day of poop and all of this it gets mold like really fast. So if you clean out the poop, then your caterpillars can munch on the food for, it took them like a week to finish this rind and the rest of them um, are still munching. No problem. And then when they're ready, they go to the top and then they transform. So yeah, this one is empty. 
over here, I keep showing you guys. The caterpillars are big enough where they're, they're um, finishing the milkweed that I gave them and then they're eating the butternut squash and then when they get a little adventurous, they follow the food out. And now they are eating the, the butternut squash that I provided for them. I didn't even have to touch them. They went from the little container to the big container on their own. And if I wanted to move a caterpillar, that's how easy it is. I can just pick up a fork and move them. But I don't have to move them, so that's exciting. When these guys get big enough, um, or if I run out of food or want to move them for any reason, I have a spot ready to go. I don't have to do anything. As for the chrysalises that are in here, I'm thinking of moving them and um, providing them for a school that I know I used to work with as an after-school counselor. So that's me, uh, Butterfly Square Garden, Jason Sebastian. Let me show you guys one more thing that I'm excited about. Um, the butterfly micro puddles. Ooh. You can see the butterflies are on them. They're drinking, they're happy. So that's it, it's all clean. We've got milkweeds um, and that's it, I gotta go. Okay, I love you, bye. Hello.